We are hearing from one of the thousands of migrants that have been crossing through our borders in recent weeks. KTSM speaking with a woman who tells us she left her 11 year old son behind in Venezuela to embark on her journey to the U.S. KTSM 9 News reporter Jasmine Perry has her story. As hundreds of migrants have crossed, many have been seeking asylum, more so women, including with children. One Venezuelan tells me she had to leave her son behind to provide a better future. Take a listen. I was working in Mexico, but in Mexico you live with fear, especially the women, a life being sexually abused and threats. These are the words of a Venezuelan migrant who traveled from Moron, Venezuela without her 11-year-old. I was regretting not bringing my son, but in every circumstance that I have lived, I thank God that I didn't. I saw so many children die in a cell as well. The specter of death, a constant companion, especially traveling by train. I wanted to bring my son because everyone was crossing with their children. But with all this risk taking, I'm glad I didn't. God only knows the purpose and where he will take us, with or without my son. It's a story shared by Joseph and Carolina from the coastal town of Carabobo, sharing details of their three-month journey to the U.S. We decided to come here because it's a better life and to also help our parents that we left behind. For instance, my mother got diagnosed with cancer cells in her uterus and she also had a condition of arthritis and the treatment in Venezuela you just can't afford. Being out there is a lie. Carolina opens up about the dangers of getting to America, sharing she experienced a miscarriage when traveling through Panama. They stole from us in Panama, so after we got down the hill, they tried to sexually abuse us and with all the beating when we got to the shelter, it's like my body took a toll and that is when I lost my baby. Battered, bruised and left without money, Carolina along with her husband Joseph, her sister and brother-in-law traveled to Nogales, Mexico by train. When we got off, they wanted to kidnap us because they left us women stranded in the middle of the night at a police station in Hermosillo. There were 15 women they wanted to kidnap or do another trading to come all the way to Juarez. After the harrowing journey, the couple says they've turned themselves in numerous times to Border Patrol. However, this time around, they've avoided it because of a fear of getting deported. Although she's been through a lot, she tells me the reason why she came to the U.S. is to work and hopes to get to her destination, which is in Denver, Colorado. Reporting in South El Paso, I'm Jasmine Perry, KTSM 9 News. And our thanks to Jasmine for that report. Meanwhile,